What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for February 13th, 2019. I'm your host Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the Pokemon news from the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to be kept in the loop with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also be sure to leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos. Videos, so let me know your thoughts on today's topics, but without no further ado, let's jump right into the news So with the Nintendo Direct that happened yesterday I skipped over Pokemon news daily yesterday to kind of cover the direct and do all my reactions Put all those videos out that I did yesterday So thank you for the people who checked those videos out and have been enjoying it I'm gonna have more coverage on the Nintendo Direct dropping soon with a brand new show I'm trying to bring out called demo mode and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that But we do have a ton of news because basically it's like a few days worth of news that I'm going to be jam-packing into this episode but then I'm also going to do another video following this talking about the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon online competition for February how to register and stuff like that in a separate video within itself so for right now let's just jump into the news and the first news story is coming from serbi.net like always guys I'm going to have the link to all my news articles that I'm using in the description below now they have gotten an image from the latest issue of Coral Coral, and, and if you don't know, Coral Coral is a Japanese magazine. Now, in the magazine, they're going to do a feature on a brand new Pokemon movie, as we all know, is named the Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. Now, this feature includes a look at the 3D models for Mew and Pikachu, which will be featured in the movie. Now, as you can see, the 3D models look incredible. We've never seen Pokemon look this good, in my opinion. I really hope the team working on this is showing this off to the team working on the 2000. 19 Pokemon games because again the games don't look as close to this as possible to be honest I think fans are gonna be complaining that the two look jarringly different now mind you this is a CG movie it's not actually in a game engine per se so they can make this look as beautiful as they want and it does look beautiful it looks like something that we've seen out of a Pixar movie while we haven't seen the 2019 Pokemon games I really really hope that it does look as beautiful as something that we would see in one of these movies I mean if you think about it if you look at Kingdom Hearts and how it compares to what it, the character models look like in Frozen into Toy Story there aren't too jarring of a difference so I, again I would hope that Pokemon would kind of move in that same direction as far as the video games and making the video game art style look like how they would look in a CG movie now let me know what you guys think of these two 3d models do you think they look as good to have a full CG movie based upon the this art style or do you prefer the old 2d Pokemon anime art style let's talk about it in the comment section below now moving on to some Pokemon dual news the app just rolled out the brand new Z power update that we went over before earlier this week now I'm not gonna go over the patch notes or anything but if you want to check out everything that's new with Pokemon dual I will leave a link to the patch notes in the description below so you can check it out because it is a ton of stuff a lot of stuff going over my head because again I'm not a Pokemon dual enthusiast I don't I don't play the game or anything so if you want to check it out i'm gonna have a link to it in the description below now moving on to some actual news that we got during the nintendo direct involving pokemon and no we didn't get any pokemon game announcements that we all been wanting or anything like that but we did get our first look at the amiibo for ivysaur pokemon trainer male and squirtle which will release later this year now there's no word if we're gonna be getting a female pokemon trainer green as an amiibo as well i personally Personally would love it but I'm unsure if they would do it green in the game isn't an echo fighter and we've seen echo fighters are getting the amiibo treatment but unfortunately a color swap of a character doesn't get a amiibo treatment and currently in game that's what the Pokemon trainer is you change the color of Pokemon trainer and it turns into a female into green which is a different character which I would consider an echo character but the game doesn't register it as an echo character and I don't think they're gonna be making 
make an amiibo for green but i really do hope they do make a female version of the pokemon trainer so i can add it to my amiibo collection to be honest that's the only reason why i want it but let me know if you're going to be adding any of these amiibos to your collection and would you also like a green amiibo to add to that collection let me know in the comment section below now moving on to some pokemon gold news this is coming from pokemon gold live.com where they drop two news updates that we're going to be going over the first one is about the pokemon gold valentine's day event that if you have been playing for the past couple of days you have already been seen and participating already it says gather up pokeballs and turn on adventure sync the pokemon gold valentine's day celebration features pokemon that are pink beginning february 13 pokemon such as clefairy hop it love this will appear more frequently in the wild the event will last from now until february 21st it will feature pokemon that are pink certain pink pokemon will hatch frequently from 7k eggs pink pokemon such as chansey and porygon will appear more frequently in raid battles we will also be getting bonuses for this event such as lore modules that will last for six hours during the duration of the event and two-time catch candy bonuses let's spread the love and enjoy a special valentine's day celebration with bonuses stay safe and happy exploring now the community has also found out other new stuff that rolled out with this event like the brand new spin the form that has a love heart on its head and it's now available in the game now in order to get this brand new spin the form you have to do the same research to unlock spinda which is if you make five great curveball throws in a row you get a chance to catch a spinda now the spinda with the heart on his head has been apparently more frequently for players since the start of this valentine's day event now take note that this is the same form that was found by charles that got added into the game a few days ago we also gotten some brand new boxes available in the shop and it also has been confirmed that happy is now available in 7k egg so again a lot of things going on within pokemon go which is pretty cool but kind of feels normal if you think about it i love how niantic is always adding new events and new things to keep players coming back let me know if you have been enjoying the valentine's day events in the comment section below now the second thing niantic has announced in it this one is kind of big at least to a player like me who wants the pokemon go games to feel kind of like the original pokemon rpg games now niantic has announced that trainers we are excited to to announce a major update to the trainer battles and pokemon go stat boost starting this sunday during swine nubs community day certain charge attacks will have a change to trigger stat boost and trainer battles these stat boosts will persist on the affected pokemon until they're either faint or switched out of battle the first moves of this update are below which are ancient power that has a chance to raise the user's attack and defense ominous winds again that has a chance to raise the user's attack and offense and then silver wind that has a chance to change the user's attack and defense now this is just the first of many updates to come so stay tuned for more communications about trainer battles as a reminder punch wine evolved into mammoth swine during the community day event hours we'll learn to move ancient power so do not miss out on this now again this is kind of huge in my opinion it's kind of a step in the right direction to make trainer battles feel more like the rpg pokemon game now again there's still a long roll ahead of pokemon go to make that uh actual accomplishment and make them feel like the actual pokemon rpg games but again them adding stuff that are already in the games like stat boosts again is a welcome change i'm still waiting on when they add pokemon abilities and weather effects and stuff like that but again like i said stat boosting is something that is a staple to pokemon so i'm glad it's finally making its way over to pokemon go now that's going to be it for today i'm again i'm going to be doing a separate video on how to sign up for the two 2019 international challenge of february competition to get yourself the shiny top of boo boo so be on the lookout for that let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on everything that we went over today from the brand new stat boosting moves in pokemon go to the valentine's day event that is actually happening in pokemon go to this brand new 3d models for the pokemon mewtwo strikes back evolution movie are you pretty hyped on how these look and are you gonna be pretty hyped to check out the movie and do you want 
the Pokemon 2019 games to look anything like this? I certainly do, and I certainly hope so that they do. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we went over, like I said, in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon news update video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.